everyone, Lewis here, and I thought I'd bring you some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This week, Niantic has announced a lot, and we're going to start out with the next Community Day Classic being Mudkip. And yes, Mudkip Community Day Classic will be on Sunday, April 10th from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. local time. And there will be a special research story called Memories of Mudkip for $1 or equal equivalent in the in-game store. And like with the original Mudkip Community Day, you'll be able to get the shiny form and and Hydro Cannon, which of course requires you to evolve Mudkip into Marsh Stomp, and then Swampert will learn the move Hydro Cannon. And the bonuses included here are three times catch bonus, Lore modules will be active along with incense for three hours during the event. And of course, Mudkip will be in snapshot photo encounters. And the event bundles will be one time purchase of 15 Ultra Balls, 15 Pineapp Berries, one Fast Elite TM, and one Remote Rate Pass for 850 Poke Coins, and of course, a free bundle of 30 Ultra Balls will also be available as well. And of course, I will also be making a YouTube video about this and live streaming it on Twitch that same day. In other Pokemon news, also announced this week that GoFest will be back and of course not only will it be global again but in-person events will also be returning for GoFest and of course I'll tell you when the GoFest events the global versions will be they will be on Saturday June 4th and Sunday, June 5th, with a bonus finale event for Saturday, August 27th. As of this recording, no details on how to get the ticket from the in-game store for the global version of GoFest has been announced, but the events that will be happening in person will be in Berlin, Germany from Friday July 1st to Sunday, July 3rd in Seattle, Washington from July 22nd to July 24th and of course Friday, August 5th to Sunday, August 7th in Sapporo, Japan and of course for those who don't know what Sapporo is it is located on the island of Hokkaido and of course for your Pokemon fans that would be the Sinnoh region and Sapporo which of course its Pokemon world counterpart would be Jubilife City so if you want an authentic Sinnoh region and Jubilife City GoFest style event this is for you then because I like how Niantic chose Sapporo and Hokkaido to host one of their GoFest in person events and of course it's been three years since they hosted GoFest in person in Dormont in Germany in Chicago, Illinois here in the United States and in Yokohama in Japan and of course 
Also, as of this recording, no known details about what Pokemon will be featured, whether they're shiny or or um, regional. But of course, rumor has it that we're going to get Shyman, the mythical Pokemon from Gen 4, and its respective remakes in Gen 8, and of course, Pokemon Legends Arceus. And for the month of April, besides the normal April Community Day and Community Day Classic, new raid bosses will be coming into Pokemon Go, which will re feature the return of Thunderous in its Tharian form, which you'll be able to get as a shiny, and it'll also mark the debut of the other Island Guardian from from Alola that has yet to make its debut into the game, which will which it will be, and that will be from Tuesday, April twelfth to tu Tuesday, April twenty sixth, and that will be Top of Balu, and of course from April twenty sixth to. May 3rd will feature the return of Landorus in its Therian form, and you'll be able to get the shiny. And of course, for Thunderous in its Therian form, it will be here from Tuesday, April 5th to Tuesday, April 12th. And of course, the new Mega Raid boss will be Man Etric, which will be from April 5th to April 12th. Mega Pidgeot from April 12th to April 29th. And possibly a new raid boss that we don't know of as of now from April 29th to May 3rd. And the raid hours for Varian form Thunderous will be April 6th for Tapabalu, April 13th and April 20th, and Landorus Varian form April 27th. And of course, you'll be getting one week Glee Pokecoin bundles, and the breakthrough research for the month of April will be a Lowland Marowak, and you might get the shiny form. The spotlight hours will be for Stunky, Bunnelby, Oddish, and Sunshine form Cherum. Only two of the four Pokemon on this list are available as Shinies, and they are Bunnelby and Oddish. Stunky and Cherum are not available as Shinies at this moment, but of course... For Stunky, it will be April 5th, where you will get two times candy for transferring Pokemon. For Bunnelby, April 12th, two times evolving Pokemon. I meant to say two times XP for evolving Pokemon. With Oddish, April 19th, two times catch Stardust. And for Cherum in its sunshine form, two times catch XP. And of course, by the time this video is released, come April 1st, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl will finally get the mystery gift, which will allow you to catch and obtain Dark Ride on the Nintendo Switch. One more thing, I will be streaming again this Saturday. 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash lewadventures and as I already stated earlier I will be making not only the YouTube video for 
Mudkip Community Day Classic, but also be streaming that as well. Which, of course, I'll be doing that after I finish filming the video. And I will let you know when, if and when I will do GoFest 2022. And if I do get the in-game store version, the global version of the ticket, I will be bringing it a video from that here on YouTube and live streaming it over on Twitch. Thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. Remember, it's time for adventure.